Got an exciting episode of Tech Odyssey today here with my son. His name is Tech Odyssey Jr., otherwise known as Luke. So something interesting happened the other day. Uh, he was using the Z Fold 4, and he decided to switch to a different phone. And what phone was that? Oh, the Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 8 Pro. So, uh, and did I ask you if you wanted to switch? No. No. Oh, in fact, I, I, I talked to you kind of like you were crazy, huh? And... It, because you're using, like, a big phone, right? It's got the two screens, opens up, all that great stuff. And then all of a sudden, you want to switch from that to the Pixel 8 Pro. So, uh, how's that experience been for you? I like it. It's, it's a nice phone. So, what is it that you didn't like about the Z Fold 4 that made you want to try out the Pixel 8 Pro? It's just a little screen here. I didn't really find myself using the big open screen very much. So, I use it more as a normal phone. But just screen is just, like, thin, small. So you don't like that the, the Fold 4 has got a small screen on the front side? Yeah, I didn't find myself really opening it very much to use it. Well, I hear that from a lot of people, so that's kind of understandable. Uh, but just for your own personal edification, one interesting thing about the Fold phones is that Samsung actually considers the inside part of the phone the main screen. So the outside is like a secondary phone, but a secondary screen. But I, I get it. Yeah, there's, some, there's a lot of, lot of trade-offs whenever you have a phone like that. And that's why a lot of people like to use this guy right here, the S24 Ultra, because you get this big, gigantic real estate, big screen all the time. So any other reasons why you wanted to switch? No, maybe it's because of the screen. I didn't. It's a small screen. I didn't try myself opening the phone very much unless I was watching a movie or something. So you've been using the Pixel 8 Pro for about a week now. Like you started using it last week whenever we went to go to Fiesta, Texas. Mm -hmm. So how's your experience been with the phone now you've been using it? For a week. I like it. I like the macro photos on it. It takes takes nice photos. I like the I like the software it uses. It's nice. So you like having the macro capability on the phone? Mm-hmm. So did you take any cool pictures with it? I did. It's like let's see how many I have on here. <laughs> so apparently you've taken quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know this, but he actually likes to take a lot of photos. Normally he likes to use the Samsung phones because he likes to have that big zoom, reach out and touch stuff. And he did use the S23 Ultra before, but he bumped up from the S23 Ultra to the Z Fold 4 whenever I got my Z Fold 5. So he wanted to try out this now. So maybe you can hold it up to the screen. Maybe it'll show what the photos look like. Got a couple of flower pictures here. Oh, here, let me see real quick. If we turn the brightness down, it should show up a little bit better. And then turn it sideways. Zone auto rotate. I don't believe so. Okay, let's turn auto-rotate on so that people can see better. There we go. All right, so there we go. There's one of the macro shots that he took. Here, why don't you show him another one or two? Oh, you turn this way? Yeah, if you turn it sideways. There's another one I have. Pretty neat. So other than the macro capability and, and the software, what, what do you like about the software compared to the Samsung? So you've had a lot of experience using Samsung software. This is the first Pixel phone that you've used, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you haven't used a Pixel phone before. Nope. So what are some other things? What, what do you like about the software? You said you like the software. It's one of the things when you switched over from Samsung. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I like it. It feels, it feels different. I like the OK Google it has. I don't think this one has it, does it? Uh, it can, but you have to like turn it on the voice activation, but it's part of the setup process with the Google phone. I just like this one better. Like you can see the temperature on different things. So, like, I just like it a lot better. So you, you've been playing with the, the temperature, the thermometer that's on there. Mm -hmm. So what have you tried to test the, the temperature cap taking capabilities on? Uh, I tried some of the bars of Fiesta Texas. I tried the car when I got in it, the dash. It's worked out pretty well, I think. Do you think it's pretty accurate? Mm -hmm. For the most part, is a body temperature. So what else have you tried out on there? Mm, it's really bad. So I like the, the video camera. It's also nice. So you like the video camera? Mm -hmm. So do you think it's better or worse than the Z Fold 4? I think it's better. I don't think the Z Fold can do 4K at 60. Yeah, it can do 4K 60. Oh, it can? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, there are improvements. So the cameras that are on the Z Fold 4, they're basically the same ones that have been on there for the Z Fold 3. Like, they're kind of older. And whenever we got the Pixel 8 Pro this year, they changed out all three cameras on the back. And there's been some improvements with, like, video stabilization. And, of course, there's been better... There's been improvements with the camera. So it's something that I think probably would be noticeable. Um, 
Have you noticed the shutter speed being any faster? Like when you take pictures, does it? Have you noticed that it takes faster pictures? Hmm. Oh, these are kind of kind of slower a little bit. Whenever I take a picture, it, it takes a second, and then it fully renders. Well, you might be ha you might have it on higher resolution too. You might have it on like higher megapixels. Maybe that's why the shutter is slower. Maybe. Yeah, you had it on fifty megapixel on pro mode. So yeah, that explain uh, that explains it. Yeah. <laughs> If you have it on the 12 megapixel mode, it snaps a little bit faster. It goes a lot faster on the 12 megapixel. So, have you taken a lot of pictures with it? Mm, yeah, I've taken a decent amount. So, overall, when you've you've taken pictures with this one, what do you what do you think? Do you think that the camera is better overall than the Z Fold 4? Yeah, it gives out more details. Whenever you take it, it, it improves the picture by itself. It shows you the raw version versus the process version it takes for you. Yeah, that is nice. So, what else? Anything else that you like about it? Well, that's basically it. Is there anything you don't like about the Pixel 8 Pro? I notice my, my battery dies a little faster on this one. Really? Yeah, whenever I've been using it, it's been getting lower pretty fast. Well, that's probably because you're using the front screen a lot on the Z Fold, so it's not burning up as much battery. Like, if you had it opened up, it would probably, it would probably die faster. Like, the battery life on the Z Fold 4, it's got the Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1, and I think I was getting about 6 hours with that, but the Pixel 8 Pro, I usually average about 7.5 hours. But if you're using it as your primary phone and you're doing a lot of stuff with it, I mean, there are things. If, are you playing games on it? This one? Oh, yeah, I am. What games have you been playing on it? Uh, Call of Duty, some Oh, yeah. Games. Well, no wonder you, <laughs> you sit there yeah. playing Warzone on your phone. Yeah, it's going to kill the battery. <laughs> so a lot of people don't think it's very good at gaming. So based off your experience with using the Pixel 8 Pro, you've been playing Warzone, you've been playing your baseball game that's on there, like, how would you say it play? Like, do you think it's a good gaming phone? Yeah, I say you could use it for a gaming phone. It runs them pretty smoothly as long as it keeps the battery high enough for keep it plugged in. It runs runs pretty smoothly. It runs the same as my iPhone. Have you noticed the phone getting hot? Because some people complain that the phone get gets hot when it does stuff. No, I haven't really had any temperature issues with this thing when I'm playing any games on it. And you're using AT and T with that one. Uh, how would you say the signal is? Because some people don't like the signal. They say that it's not very good. Have you had any signal issues? Does it perform well when you've been using it? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, I haven't really had any slow loads or anything, or like my videos or songs don't load any slow. If the internet's fine on it. Well. What about typing? How do you like the typing experience on it? It's all right. The autocorrect on the iPhone or this one's a little better. It might be the same keyboard, but really, you this think the autocorrect is better on the iPhone? Yeah, this one. All right, all right. The interview's over. Interview's over. We gotta, we gotta leave. You gotta get out of the studio. No. <laughs> just come back. I'm just screwing with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like the iOS keyboard. I find that autocorrect is pretty terrible on it, but. The Google Pixel phone is supposed to have the best voice to text, uh, for sure. Oh, yeah, it's definitely better. The iPhone one kind of sucks when I try Oh, to... whoa, whoa, we got a kid's... Yeah, might watch this. Watch the language. Whenever I do the, the voice on the iPhone, it doesn't pick it up very well. Uh, no, voice to text on the iPhone is not good at all. But you would say that the voice to text is better on the Pixel 8 Pro, but whenever it comes to um, autocorrect, you think the iPhone's better. Yeah, oh, this one's... Yeah, the iPhone's better, yeah. This one doesn't really... I'll be typing. He doesn't really correct it. Kids these days. Let me see. Any other any other things? Oh, what about the color? So I've got the I've got the bay blue color that's on there. We'll take the case off real quick. What do you, what do you think about the color? So I think it's probably just about the best looking phone color from last year. What What do you think? I like it. They're more vibrant than the iPhones. All the iPhone colors are all dull and washed out. These ones are nice. It's nice. It's a nice blue color. Yeah, they are really nice. I, I like that color. That mint green one they have is pretty nice too, but uh, I'm not going to go buy that because I have a Pixel 8 Pro already. Well, I mean, he stole it from me the last week. So uh, you were telling me that also the other thing you didn't like is the button configuration on the side. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just getting used to. It's the, I think they're, they're switched the powers on the top of the volumes on the bottom. Takes, when I switch back and forth from my iPhone, it kind of mixes me up a little bit. Yeah, I think the reason they do that is because... You don't use the power button very often, but most people change the volume a lot. So having the volume lower where it more naturally hits your fingers is probably uh, because people use it more often. I don't know. I've been using Pixel phones for years, and I still hate that configuration, but that's just me. So any last couple of things you uh, want to talk about with it? No, it's a nice phone. I like it. I think it's worth buying. So... If I were to walk up to you and and you had the S23 Ultra before, you've got the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you've got the Pixel 8 Pro. If you go use one of those phones, which one would it be? 
Mm-hmm. It's hard to say. I like different things out of them. I like the video from the iPhone and the still photos from this one and the zoom from the Samsung, so it's kind of hard to choose. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what they're known for. Samsung has the best zoom. The iPhone has the best video. I mean, that's what I'm recording with right now is a selfie camera on my 15 Pro Max. And then most people think that the Pixel 8 Pro uh, and Pixel phones in general have the best overall normal camera. So, but I mean, there's a lot of different things. You got Android, you got iOS, all those things. So don't worry, I won't make fun of you too much. But do you prefer iPhone or do you prefer uh, iOS, iPhone or you prefer Android? I prefer Android. It's, I like it a lot better. Like, well, I just like it a lot better. I like the camera app a lot better. You like the camera app better on Android better than the iPhone? Yeah, there's more customization with this one. Yeah, the only thing that stinks though is whenever you like, I have an iPhone. Like you have an iPhone for your your other phone. Like we can we play the iMessage games. We use Apple Pay. Like I send you money on there. Y'all use the Apple Card. Like there are a lot of things that you miss out on if you're normally using an iPhone, but. Uh, if, if you only had one phone to pick, would it be an Android phone or would it be an, an Apple phone? Mm, probably an Android phone. More than, I only really use the Apple for texting people and that Apple Pay is pretty nice. <laughs> That's pretty much the same thing I tell my viewers all the time. The only reason I have one is so I can <laughs> talk to my family and so I can use Apple Pay. <laughs> all right, so I guess that pretty much concludes the video. Uh, anything you want to say? No. It's a nice phone you can pick up. I like it a lot. Better than the Z, Z Fold. So you opinion. like it better than the Z Fold. So, all right, another question. The Z Fold 6 is going to come out later on this summer. Would you be tempted to go back for the Z Fold 6, or would you you hang on with the Pixel 8 Pro and maybe try the Pixel 9 Pro when it comes out? Mm, probably, hang on some, probably hang on to this one for a little bit, a little bit longer. So, so there is an interesting out. rumor, though, because uh, it looks like there's going to be three models of the Pixel 9 this time. So there's the Pixel 8 right now and the Pixel 8 Pro. The 8 Pro is the bigger one, has more cameras and stuff. Supposedly, they're going to have two versions of the Pro, like the iPhone does. They're going to have a smaller Pro, which is going to have like a 6.1-inch screen. So it's going to be smaller, but have the Pro features. But then they're also talking about having a Pro XL, which would be larger like the Pro is now. Would you be interested in a smaller Pro phone when it comes to the Pixel, or do you like having the bigger phone? I like having the bigger phone. I'm used to these bigger phones. Like, I have the Pro Max for the iPhone. It would be weird to go to a smaller phone. I just like, I enjoy these bigger phones better. Okay. All right, well, now you can go to bed so you can get ready for school tomorrow. But uh, we'll go ahead and finish this video up. So that's all I got. Hopefully, I'll enjoy this a little bit different video today. But he had come up to me last week and was like, man, uh, Dad, <laughs> not man, <laughs> Dad, uh, I really want to try out your Pixel 8 Pro. Can I, can I try it out? So I factory reset it. I handed it over, we put his SIM card in it, and he's been using it for over a week now, and uh, he seems to really enjoy it. So maybe we'll make another follow-up video. Let me know if you like this video, and let me know what you think. Maybe I'll pull some more of my kids in here, because I've got like a whole collection of them. They're like Pokemon. So uh, anyway, I thought this would be something interesting. I was like, you know what, we'll make a video about this, and we can talk about some of the things you like about it. I mean, it's a big it's a big switch to go from a, a big foldable phone to a, a normal-sized phone like that, especially to like, ask to do that. So... I guess that's all I got. Again, Tech Odyssey, Tech Odyssey Jr. signing off. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns, gripes, um, Mr. Lottery numbers, whatever, go to the comment section. And we can talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, if you like the Google Pixel stuff, if you like the listen to me jabber, then hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and bye. I'll see you guys next I'll time. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> all right, later.